Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to the channel. So I recently uploaded a community post where I shared my one of super bars that are in capsules in this box over here. If you've watched my video on the mooncakes, this is actually the box from that video. It's empty now. So just for a little bit of fun, I wanted to arrange all my super bars inside here. And this is how all the bars look like in the box. It was all just for a little bit of fun. The bars won't be staying in here, but they all did look uh, really great in this uh, wooden box here. And I thought I'd share a picture about it. There were several awesome comments in my community post. I'd like to thank everybody who has commented, but in particular, I'd like to shout out the Cranky Stacker. Uh, he posted a comment and a query about these two silver bars here, which has the depiction of locomotives. Frankie asked me if I knew anything about these silver bars, which I believe he do have 3 or 4 of them, similar bars in this collection. So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about them. And at the end of this video, I'll share with you where I actually purchased one of these bars. But before we get into them, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Alright, so here are the two locomotive silver bars that I have in my collection. And incidentally, they both feature the same locomotive, which is the General. For this video, I'll be talking more about this silver bar piece. But very quickly, here we have a bar from the Madison Mint, printed in 1972. You can see the name of the mint right at the back of the bar. I've seen this bar uh, reviewed by some content creators on YouTube, so I believe this bar is actually fairly common. However, the second bar here is something that I've not seen before. And as we move along with this video, I'll go through it in more detail. Let's go ahead now and talk about this second silver bar. I have it out from the capsule so we can have a better look at it. This bar was minted by the Mount Everest Mint in 1974 for their great locomotive series. This bar came from their first series, called Series 1. And in that series, there were 10 uh, art silver bars that were minted in proof. Uh, this is the only one that I have, but I do have a picture of the entire collection, and I'll put the picture of it right up here. As I mentioned just now, this bar is minted in proof, although it's exhibiting some patina due to its age. A quite nice uh, toning on it. And this bar is minted in 39 fine silver. It has a weight of 31.9 grams, a length of 48 millimeter, a width of 29 millimeter, and a thickness of approximately 2.6 millimeter with a smooth edge. There are no mintage numbers available, uh, none that I could find on the internet, and all the specifications that I shared just now was obtained by measuring and weighing this particular bar. Right here on the back of the bar, we can see a smooth back with some lettering. And the lettering reads the General, perhaps the most famous locomotive in American history, 1855, the Western and Atlantic Railroad. And just below that, we have the composition of the metal, one troy ounce, three nine fine silver, proof, copyrighted, 1974. And here we have the mint mark for the Mount Everest Mint, or MEM. Moving to the front of the bar, we have this depiction of the general with the name of the locomotive right up here and the year when it was introduced into service, 1855. The name of the locomotive is repeated right over here. And just right below, we have this initials, CN. Unfortunately, I don't know what that stands for, but I do believe that that's the name of the artist which engraved this design. Now, the general was built by Rogers, Ketchum and Grosner of Patterson in New Jersey and introduced into service by the Western and Atlantic Railroad in 1855. Uh, this locomotive is best known as the one stolen by Union forces or Union spies uh, during the American Civil War in an attempt to cripple the Confederate uh, rail network. Uh, currently, the, uh, this locomotive here uh, still survives and is preserved at the Southern Museum of Civil War and Locomotive History in Kennesaw of Georgia. And this locomotive is also listed as part of the U.S. National Registry of Historic Places. 
All right, with the design and specifications out of the way, let me just quickly share with you guys where I actually purchased uh, these two silver bars. For the Medicine Mint Silver Bar, I got this here in Singapore a few months ago. While for the Mount Everest Mint, uh, this silver bar here, I actually purchased this during my last visit to New York City. And the store that I got it from is the Gold and Silver Coin Buyers Incorporated, which is a store located right next to Bullion Exchanges. The store had quite a stack of these locomotive silver bars in various designs. However, the staff there did want quite a premium for it. For this single bar here, I paid 35 US dollars, which I thought was quite expensive. However, having gone through and studied uh, the significance of this bar and the history behind it, uh, now I think that this price was actually quite okay for this vintage bar. And in hindsight, if I had more money, I should have picked up the rest of the bars that he had in his uh, available for sale in the store. So if you guys are in Manhattan or if you're near the city itself and you're looking to add some of these uh, vintage silver bars to your collection, you might want to pop by Gold and Silver Coin Buyers Incorporated, which is at the Diamond District. Perhaps they might still have uh, these bars available and you might just uh, be able to add some of these bars to your collection. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review of the General Locomotive Silver Bar minted by the Mount Everest Mint in 1974. All the bars here will not be staying in this box. And in an upcoming video, I'll be doing a mail call for this package here. This comes from an awesome community member, Bob Wojciechowski. Uh, to Bob, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. But Bob uh, very generously uh, sent me a guard house silver bar, a one ounce silver bar box for my collection. And uh, with the box inside here, I'll be able to take up Silver Strap Challenge of filling up an entire guardhouse box with one ounce silver bars. I hope you guys will stay tuned to that unboxing video. And to Bob Wojciechowski, uh, thank you again for this uh, very generous gift. I know it was uh, pretty expensive to send uh, this box here all the way from the States. And I'll be definitely uh, sending you back uh, something in return. And of course, to Cranky Stacker, I hope this review here answers your query that you left in your comment. If you guys have any more questions or comments, uh, please do leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.